We're getting there. What is it? It's, hey, uh, it's called Trackster. Hit the subscribe button and the link below. Subscribe. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat up. Watch this. I'm going to beat up right here. Okay. I should have been with Dathan or at least within 20 seconds of him based off of his opinion and just kind of all the work we've done. So to run a minute and 40 behind, you know, it's just, you know, it's just unacceptable. Uh, but part of that was because I made some mistakes and kind of had some injury things pop up that I just couldn't get under control in time. So in some ways that cram, I felt pretty good from a fitness standpoint and whatever. So, you know, it's a bit embarrassing and honestly just disappointing because I have been working really hard for months now um, and I am in really good shape and it would have been awesome to get to just try to finish with Dathan and have a great experience. Um, thankfully, um, I didn't get more hurt from Krim. I just got more sore. Um, I didn't miss any training or anything, which I'm really grateful for because that stuff was really bothering me. So I was able to just kind of like pick myself back up and slowly get back into training and get ready for the 20K uh, champs, but I was really beat up going into Krim with those problems and coming out of it I was really beat up so it actually took me till about today's Thursday and I had a good workout today uh, but it took me till about Wednesday to kind of start feeling like myself muscularly so that's kind of what's been going on since Krim and um, you got to be healthy you know races are already so tough and you're grinding out there and being competitive and doing your best so something's bothering you before you start the race like
but like I thought it was too. And then, but it's just like I say, it's like I look up on the Garmin. The Garmin says 22 miles an hour, and you're like, whoa. Because normally you'll be like out here, and you'll be like, dude, this is bull. It'll say 10, and you're like, this is so bad. And this is 10 miles an hour. And then go up swing. We must have just missed you. <laughs> That's a good one. That one's sick. Yeah, I, I star in that one. Thanks, bro. Alright, this is Chris from USA TF TV with Parker Stinson. Didn't quite manage to the pull out that second there today, but uh, you know, third at 20k champs, not too bad, right? Oh, I'm super stoked. Uh, I went through 10 miles today, 50 something seconds faster than I ran at Krim, and Krim was perfect weather. So, um, so today I got everything I needed. I'll get back to work, um, and yeah, uh, just keep staying focused. Um, got a long ways to go for to getting it done at the marathon. Are, are you treating Chicago like you still need to get an Olympic standard even though you really don't need to? Um, even fat, it's the same goal. Mm -hmm. Two, I want to break 211. Um, that's just some personal, um, like things in my contract and for me personally, like that's what I've been trying to do since my first one. So that's still the goal. Mm -hmm. So when those standards didn't came out, it put a little more pressure on it, but it didn't change my goals. So um, it, it's twofold. I, I want to break 211 because that would be a huge, uh, change to my career but secondly if I haven't won a chance to make the Olympic team I have the talent and the ability but I need to keep learning the marathon I'm not I'm not reaching my potential in the marathon and so I just look at Chicago as a really good chance you know if I run 212 but I closed it out better that would still be a, a solid step forward for me so All right, so thankfully, I'm running kind of like, probably like 110, probably like 110 to 115, maybe a little less on average. So I got two pairs of the Triumph ISO because my feet just hate me right now. I think it's pretty cool. It's like frost teal or something like that. <laughs> I'm, I am healthy now, I'm doing really well, but you know, running in old shoes is like just Staying healthy 101, you know, you can't be doing that. So really grateful for Sockney and these cool new Triumph ISO vibes.